Hi, so my name is Dela. I'm actually, um, this is my decent wallet. And, um, as you can see, I, you just turn it on. And I'm going to show you how to turn it on or whatever. You scan, in, put your fingerprint on it. Which, yeah, I'm doing something over there, so. Um, you put your fingerprint on it. And then, what you're going to do is... I'm going to kind of go into the app for it. It's my decent wallet app. I'm going to put my authenticator, whatever. This is a wallet I just re received and got. Um, so, within the last month or two. So, um, you're, it's going to sync. As you can see, it says initiating wallet. That's because I have my Bluetooth portion on, um, which is right here. I don't know if it's going to let me write on it, but that part, Bluetooth's on, it's scanning, it's synced, okay, I don't actually want to write, I just was trying to, now I don't know how to just make it stop writing, okay, so, um, yeah, so you want to have the Bluetooth portion up, from the Bluetooth portion, you want to scroll down, let's just say you want to uh, put some crypto in, you hit receive, make sure to copy your address so i'm copying my xrp address technically in actuality um i'm gonna actually show a little something a little bit different with that but um that's my public address that's not my private but um which is what's used this is another crypto right here so i have 588 million of them for 12 dollars um, this is a, on a federated train too. Um, and then as you can see, XDC holds gold. So if I know this is a federated chain and it holds gold, which is contact, and it has all of these, all of these, um, are a part of the beginning infrastructure. Um, this is actually technically they're wanting this to be a bank and also an exchange for derivatives, etc. So, I want to own a billion of these, um, which is like 20, 25 bucks, give or take. Not that bad. Um, so, anyway, um, and these are all the ones that I would suggest owning, as you can see, um, that I have inside of my hand. And I'm really not sweating too much. I can't get this one to, um... Uh, I have some of this one and I can't get it to move over because they suspended the chain and are doing, they're working on it or something. Um, but it's like five bucks. So, but it's a good portion of the ecosystem too. So, um, anyways, how you essentially, you would want this device turned on, which I gotta go over, right? You're going to want this device turned on. Then you're going to come over here. You're going to make sure that that Bluetooth and the with the um, symbol that kind of looks like the device up top by the biometric wallet. You want that to um, to be lit up. Then you're going to press the plus button. You're going to add your coin of choice. So like XRP, Bitcoin, Mona coin, Litecoin, Dashcoin, Ravencoin, so on and so forth. You just kind of scroll through and get whatever one it is that you're looking for. And then you would also, through here, you can also, um, as you can see, this it shows NFT, which it says retry for that. But um, this is CoinGecko and this is Marketplace. You can actually put your favorite coins and load it up here. You or you could have, if you trust, I am sorry, I am not going to put my private key up on a third party. I'm just not going to do it. Now, some people do and can. I have, I have my stuff put in manually. I don't, I'm not that trusting because that's giving someone access to my bank account. And I do not want to do that. So... You hit discovery. When you hit discovery, as you can see, it says buy crypto. 
It says buy crypto services that allow you to quickly exchange crypto, swap crypto. You can use MetaMask integration, which is extremely valuable. It's an invaluable, actually. Um, and then you have all of these different portals. The FTO portal is actually a a Flare Finex X Finex token portal. Um, and then there is a way to actually direct deposit. I saw that earlier, and I can't remember which one or which one it was. But you can actually direct deposit your paycheck into um. Into, directly into your crypto wallet, which I thought was extremely fascinating. Um, this allows you to bridge multi-chain fund management protocol. is a transparent crypto investment pro, uh, platform on DeFi that helps crypto investors to invest confidentially and allows professional traders to earn more from their investing skills by creating and managing their funds. So that's extremely, as you can see, is extremely um, invaluable. Um, considering my the profession, there's a URL up top where I can type in. Let's just say I want to type in Max C. Type in Max C. It loads it up. I then go in, sign up. I would go through. A MetaMask and I would create a MetaMask connecting MetaMask and I would then I'd go through whichever wallet it is that I'm trying to connect and connect it that way that's how I would kind of go about it um, as you see there's a sign up bonus claim your a thousand dollars which yes, it's legit. So you can go through uh, like, uh, Max. I would actually have a hot wallet separate from Michael Wallet. That way, I have mul uh, two different public addresses. Um, and that's just because I am finicky. I do not let people to have access to all my stuff. I just do not. It is no, no. So, I can also press this, and as you can see, it says 100 plus cryptos through a network of various partners. Press go. And then there's Topper by Uphold, Simplex, and then you have MoonPay. And you can pick whichever one to buy. And this is also how you can. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Isn't it there a way you. SD. Um, mm, let me back out. I think MoonPay is the one that you would want to use. Because this one. Um, you pretty much, when you buy it. It's, it sends it to your bank account. I actually might try this myself, but I think I'm going to use MoonPay. I like top, I love Uphold, um, but I want to use uh, cur crypto uh, currencies available for purchase. You have XRP, XLM, and it doesn't matter really which one I get right now because I'm going to, this is my wallet to receive it in. Um... It's going to, uh, so then it'll set up MoonPay. I'm, I'm actually trying this. I know MoonPay works on like a, exchanges, so this pretty much allows me to do it without an exchange and send it directly to my wallet from my Visa card. Um, so then I'm going to like put my email in. And send me such and such go over to my emails not the right email anyway click over and this is what I'm gonna need copy that 
go over here, paste it. Um, then I'm gonna attach my phone number. We'll need a valid phone number before you can start purchasing. So let me put my phone number in real quick. Hit continue. And then it's gonna send me another verification code. Okay, continue. Now it wants my social. So sorry guys, but I don't want to say my social. So what I'm gonna do is do this number and then I'm gonna hit it and let's see how this works. Oh, come on. So I might pause it real quick. All right, so it's saying verification in progress. I just put my social in. Verification complete, Moonpay can now something okay so now it's letting me add i can buy crypto through google pay and this is how much i'll receive from it and this is how much uh or this is the google pay of everything so then you know there's a four dollar processing fee one dollar network fee so just keep that in mind if you're going to purchase in that manner. Um, but you can essentially buy crypto uh, using that method. Uh, or you can use like an instant method. I'm going to pause this again because it has information. Up. So it's going to ask you to verify the pending transactions. I'm clicking over. Clicking out, going to, let's get your card verified, because I hit the card option. Okay, so I just verified the card. Every, it says some banks may decide to decline any transaction involving crypto if this happens. Please contact your bank for more details. Um, but it did verify and let me verify everything, so I'm going to hit to check I agree moon pay terms and conditions or whatever um now four dollars now that's honestly what I was trying to get away from <laughs> um but this does do an instant thing so let's see if there's another way to get the fees cheaper because I if I can get it cheaper I'm going to just know I'm about I'm about cheaper um Let's try it through Topper and see what happens. Um, what is it? So this total fees is thirteen dollars. So essentially, I don't know if there's a fee through Uphold. Let's try going through Uphold because I could essentially buy it on Uphold. It's just going to be a three day five or five day waiting period, um, which I was trying to get away from. But if I buy it from here, you essentially can buy, okay, so there's three, okay, so if you do it through um, plat, there's no fee, um, but if you do it any either one of these two ways, there's going to be a fee. Um... But that would be an instant payment. They want you it to sit up there for three to five days, though, before allowing you to trans out. But you can essentially, like, you can still go and buy stuff. So you can go buy, like, Atom, Flare, Corium, any of these tokens, EVR, which is Ever Evernote, which is a value invaluable token as well. But yeah, so you can go and, and purchase up. Uh, a nice list of cryptos that way um so i'm honestly just showing you different ways so the first option i showed you was like through the phone or through not through the phone but like through the cold wallet where you essentially hit the debit card and it sends it immediately to your cold wallet you could technically set something up whereas you know you have something go into your cold wallet as you see topper there's like 13 dollar fee uh, that means you're only getting like eleven dollars. I mean, yeah, sorry, sorry. Let me. Do, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna hit thirty-five and see if it's. So it's a three-dollar fee. So you're getting like 
33 $32, roughly, give or take. So you're not able to kind of get the full, let's try USDC, USDC. Because each one, it kind of does something just a tad different. Let's do USDC on base. So like, that's a dollar and 47 fee, the fee goes down. What I would honestly do is purchase it with something like this and then transfer it out. I'm only, it would get $33, so that's 35 um, and I'm just, like, showing what you would do. Um, and then you hit continue. That's the transaction fee and the network fee. You purchase it and then you transfer it into something else. This would be great if you're going to buy it and then if you want you to hold USDC on your wallet. That makes sense, but most do not. Um, and then transfer it out by going into something else um another thing too which i'm going to need to show you on my actual um com on my computer let me type it in i'm going to show sologenic now you can use sologenic on your um like actually on your what is it uh, phone. However, whenever you hit solo Janet, um, it does not show you or give you the option for a cold wallet. So on on the web page, it shows. I typed in solo Janet. It has advanced tokenization solutions for institutions, and if you know BlackRock and the rest of uh, uh, Wall Street are all talking about that and you have Copper Co and Fireblocks which are custodians which is a huge deal because they insure a lot elevate your business with their premier asset tokenization suite development for the global finance market on one of the fastest blockchain networks purpose built for banks it, so the purpose of it was built for banks brokerages, houses investment firms and exchanges um and manage liquidity across all market effortlessly access a wide range of assets such as stocks etf shares and real estate Exped expedite trade using the power of blockchain for swift settlement this sologenic is actually built on xrp fyi if you don't know that already um, maintain control of asset custodianship of or reduce risk and uh, liabilities by enabling users to withdraw tokenized assets. Launch funding rounds for businesses of all sizes. So use it like a um, uh, capital, uh, what do you call it? Like you're raising capital for your business. And an innovative solution compatible with any existing central bank digital currency, CBDC sandbox, tailored to meet the unique needs of financial institutions, bankers, and governments. Do you see the word governments? Okay, so owning Sologenic. If you know that um, solo governments are going to be trading on Sologenic again... Wouldn't you want to own the baseline or some of their equity in this company, since, especially since it says government on their website, institutions, and banks? I know that I would. Um, so, as you can see, it's powered by XRP Ledger. I'm going back into this. Powered by XRP Ledger. 200 financial institutions globally, underscoring the network growing influence of payment industry. Censorship resistant transactions on ledger to decentralize uh, exam exchange of, and on this particular, um, what do you call it? On this exchange or platform gateway, really, um, they have things where you it's it's essentially white label so i'm going to actually go down to the solo genet decks and click on it um i'm going to hit start trading or launch maybe i should hit launch um see what pops up okay so i'm going to hit continue 
Okay, and you see there where it says connect to multiple types of wallets, sim uh, safely manage your assets on the blockchain, connect to your preferred wallet. There's a reason why this device is considered industrial grade and, and bank grade. Because this is how the banks are trading. They're securing their crypto with this and then trading it through here because they don't want it technically on the internet in a hot wallet. So, as you can see, there's the decent wallet. They have the ZUM wallet. ZUM wallet's technically a good word way, way to do that. They have the secret key. Uh, I think that's the stupidest way to put your money up there. Um, ledger device, and you have the solo wallet. Solo wallet would be like adding another hot wallet. So, like, you put money inside of the solo wallet, and um, it, it would be the equivalent of having, like, a fidelity brokerage type thing with the, with an account. But um still um sologenic is not um fdic approved so keep just keep that in mind um so i'm just going to kind of click through this um it says customized layout super support multiple types of assets and what assets tokenize assets stocks etfs and commodities um, align markets, uh, send and receive crypto. So get started. And then connect wallet. I'm going to hit the connect wallet. I can hit the decent wallet from there. And see how it says connect using decent and, and add account. So I'm going to say connect to decent. And so now it's searching for my device. Now my device is turned on. So bridge service installation is required. Okay, so I don't have the bridge service installation. So this is a Windows computer. So I'm going to need to download that. And save. Let's wait for it to download. All right, so it is downloaded. And it looks like they're, uh, uh, it just showed, okay, allow access installation. Oh, well, access, please. Now, let's see. I wonder if I have to hit it again. Connect wallet. Now it should work, I guess. Let's see what it does over here. I'm going to kind of hold it up and see. My, um... Grid services accessible on Google Chrome only. Finding decent wallet. Okay, let's hit the decent wallet logo down here too. I um, didn't do that. I don't know if I have to. It says your decent wallet is not connected. Okay, so then let's troubleshoot this. Is my Bluetooth on? So, so let's add a Bluetooth device. I'm probably going to have to add it. Uh, hit add Bluetooth. This is unknown device. Let's see if it pops up decent. It may just show unknown device. And some a lot of devices inside of this house so, that are Bluetooth enabled. Um Alright, so give me a moment because I don't know which device is going to be which. On my phone, it just shows up decent wallet, so I don't know if I need to like hold down a button or maybe I should kind of go to settings and hit Bluetooth and hit Android. Alright, and it says already connected. Oh, because it's connected. I know what's going on. Okay, so it's still connected to my phone. That's why. So I'm going to. Alright, let's try this again because I um <laughs> still had it connected to my. There it is, decent wallet. So I still had it connected to my phone, so it wasn't going to like connect with anything. So I'm going to connect my computer with it. And I guess it's um, it's trying to connect. 
right now. It says connecting on the device, so I'm gonna kind of hide that, but it says connecting on the device. Um, so let's wait for that to connect. 